Shalom family. I'm recording this video while I'm pretty much on the move. All uh, because I, as I was reading my word this morning, the Lord kind of showed me some th some things. Lately, since I've been in my Bible, I've been able to see more things that I hadn't seen before. Uh, this hasn't happened to me for a while. Usually, it happens mainly uh, within dreams, but a lot of times now I've been woke and the Ruach Hakodesh, which is the Holy Spirit has been revealing different things unto me so this particular morning i decided that you know this is something i can't hold i need to share it you know god's people really need to hear a word from him and um when it happened when i was younger it used to always be shunned like if, if you're going to dream about me dream about something good you know where I'm, I'm getting a lot of money or you know my family is being blessed but you know don't have any type of bad dreams about me so that kind of used to discourage me when i was younger or even as I got older, I didn't want to reveal unto people what thus saith the Lord, you know, things that God had shown me. So I'm learning along the way that, you know, there are a lot of things that you cannot hold, especially when God is trying to give it, you know, to you, that it is supposed to be released off unto his people. So today I'm going to be uh, coming out of Luke, the 14th chapter, verse 15. And this is Yeshua jesus explaining something to one of his disciples who asked him a question about something and it reads as and when one of them that sat at me with him heard these things he said unto him blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of god then said he unto him a certain man made a great supper and bed and bade many and set his servant at supper time to say to them that were baden that were bidden come for all things are now ready and they all with one consent began to make excuses and that's a lot of times how we, you know, tend to do. We always got something else better to do than to do what thus saith the Lord. And that was my problem. So now I'm trying to get past those excuses and be obedient. And they all with one consent began to make excuses. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must need. And I must need go and see it. I pray thee. Have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to provide pro, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a woman, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord and the and that servant came and showed his lord these things then the master of the house being angry said to his servant go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind and the servant said lord it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of these men which were bidden shall taste my supper. So basically... What the Lord showed me in this is the man, the certain man that they're talking about, that certain man is a representation of God, is a representation of Elohim himself. The servant that went out was Yeshua, was Jesus. Remember, he said to his disciples, I came to serve, not to be served. So he was the servant at that particular time who the Lord sent out in order to gather his people. 
He wants to get us prepared for that great supper. And when, when Yeshua went out, notice when he went out to a lot of people, a lot of people did not accept him. They couldn't take him for who he was and what he was coming to give, give them which was a free gift. That supper was something that was a blessing. It was something free. They didn't have to do nothing for it. Everything was already prepared for them. Yeshua said, I go to prepare a place for you. That way I am, you may be also. So it was already ready for these people. But when Yeshua came unto them, when Jesus came unto them, they couldn't receive it. They weren't ready for it. Instead, they had all the excuses in the world. Oh, well, I just bought, you know, a piece of land. So I, there's no way I can come, you know, see that, you know, without uh, making sure that the land is taken care of. Oh, well, I just bought, you know, these oxen. I got to go prove the oxen and make sure they healthy and, you know, they'll be able to actually get me, you know, give me back the harvest that I need from getting them. I'll be able to make money off of them. Then it was the whole thing of, wait a minute, I just got married. Ain't no way I can leave my wife behind in order to do something like that. I, I just can't do it. I got to be there for them. And Yeshua, Jesus didn't understand that. He couldn't get that. But like, oh my goodness. Now, one of the men was talking about it. what made him go into that saying was, he was saying, blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. It wasn't that Yeshua was denying that it was a blessing. Yeah, he understood. It, you're right. It is a blessing. But people don't accept it. I come to the people and they don't want it. This is what's going on. So what happened when the servant went out and he went to the people that he was supposed to go through and they go to and they didn't accept it. Then God told him, okay, well, this is who I want you to go to. Go to the ones who, who they least expect to be uh, anything. The people who they see as being nothing. The people who they look down upon. The people who they frown, on, uh, frown upon. Go to those instead. They are appreciative when you go to them and give them something that they didn't even work for themselves. You giving them a type of reward, they're gonna come in by, by the by, by the uh, by the bulks. So when Yeshua went out and, and and actually got those people and brought them in, he went back and he said, "Lord, I went and got those people, but it's still room. We still got room for more." Okay, well, if we got room for more, go in the highways and the byways and the hedges, those areas, you know, those hidden places that don't nobody know anything about. And go and pull those people and tell them to come on to the supper. And he went and did that. And even those people, you know, came along. What it is, there is room in the Lord's house. And he wants his house to be filled. But he wants a people that will accept him. He wants some people that are willing to take the gift. But if you ain't willing to take the gift, he ain't finna force the gift on you. These things convicted me so much of like, oh my goodness, God, it is so many people out there that need to hear a word from you, that need something from you. Even Yeshua himself said that the, 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 the work, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Where are the people who are willing to go out and labor for those who are lost, are willing to reach those who need to be reached? There are a lot of people who will not go. They got every other excuse in the world of why they can't do it. Instead of surrendering all to the Lord and just saying, Lord, take me, I'll go. You need me to go and do this, Lord, I'll do that. Whatever you need me to do, because Lord, you've done too much for me, for me to just tell you no. And then why would you say no to a supper? Really? Something that somebody is offering you, a major blessing. But that's how we get. Blessings we don't want to receive majority of the time. We want to know, wait a minute, why you want a blessing? What did I do in order to receive this blessing? You ain't do nothing. You ain't have to do nothing for me. But I'm trying to give you something. Why don't you want to receive it? Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you for your people. Lord, I ask that your people be open to receive this message, that they be open to receive what you're trying to give off to them. Especially in these trying times, Lord, we need more than anything. We, we need a word from you. We need your blessings. We need your miracles. We need your power. Lord, I ask that you just please open up your people's hearts and minds so that they can receive from you, Lord. For you're not trying to take anything from them. You're trying to give them abundance and abundance, more and more abundance, Lord. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. Shalom.